I don't know if I will ever do that. But... My sister is telling me I should stream to other platforms yeah. and post content on them. I see you're doing TikTok and YouTube. Yeah. TikTok is fun. I'm just like, oh, if I'm making shorts for YouTube, I might as well better allergy put relief them on a for better boyfriend as well. Live Claritin so, clear. That that's that's my shindig. Anyway, we are <laughs> we are live. Forgot to tell you that we're live. <laughs> oh, I know we're live now. Yeah. Oh yeah. You you are an you are a ultimate fan. So you you see when I go live. <laughs> I do. <laughs> anyway, hello hello one and all. Welcome to the um, Torture Ports Department. I am your head chairman. <laughs> and I am the peasant. <laughs> the um, the, ga as, the gator peasant. As Riders DX is playing Epic Mickey, I'm in the back room eating mashed up clams. You know what though? Peasants <laughs> don't sound terrible for some reason. Actually, it's not mashed up clams, it's mashed up clam shells. No, clams are good. Nah, you remember when Spongebob pranked Gary on April Fool's Day, and he said, we're gonna become peasants? Oh yeah, I remember that episode. That was a really weird episode. But I, like I mean, Squidward's prank was horrible. It was it, absolutely it gets, horrible. Like... He squirts mustard on the ground, there's a rope. It wasn't even funny. You feel bad for SpongeBob. Like y'all think Squidward is bad now. He was an absolute vicious lord <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Just like he had no chill whatsoever. Yeah, he was bad. He was really bad. But he did feel sorry about it. So I that's mean, something. After everyone in the entire town hated him, including his mother. April Fools, jerk. <laughs> so I mean. All right, we got one in the chat so far. Hey, can I join the Discord? Oh, you have a Discord server? Um, my Discord server is uh, inactive right now. More to come on that later. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm ever starting one. I think like um. Yeah, I, I used to have one. It's still going on, um, but there's not a lot going on there right now. But maybe in the future, who knows? But you can catch me on um, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, TikTok. Catch me on TikTok. Yeah, he's on those. I'm just on Instagram. Oh, this is a great question. I think I know the answer, though. What's your favorite SpongeBob game? I mean, that's a pretty... That's a very difficult question, for sure. Um, it rhymes with... Oh, nothing rhymes about Bikini Bottom, so never mind. Um, <laughs> Re or robotic Revenge? No, that, that's, that doesn't exist. You know, I like to think of that game as I deal with Wreck-It Ralph too. That never happened either. It's, um, it's a... I want Eternal Sunshine, that for my brain. Which means wipe it if you have if you never seen a movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's Battle for Bikini Bottom. I kind of figured it was that. Yeah, Battle for Bikini Bottom favorite, is though. iconic. But if I had to choose one that wasn't Battle for Bikini Bottom, hmm, that's a good question. Um, that's a really good question. Which one would it be actually? I mean, the obvious one is Movie Game. It's basically just Battle for Bikini Bottom too. Um, but there's also Cosmic Shake actually. I really like Cosmic Shake. I would say just to give a different answer, most of the Spongebob games I played was on the DS. Atlanta Square Panis on the DS is a very underrated game. It's a 3D platformer, and I also love Drawn to Life Spongebob Edition. That's what got me into gaming. Ooh, I don't really love that game. <laughs> See, unlike you, I can handle an opinion. <laughs> Drawn to Life is okay. I understand the appeal. Well, if you love to draw, you get to see your drawings come to life in the game, just like in Frankendoodle. I mean, yeah. I mean, that game has that, but it also has mediocre platforming, so there we go. Hey, I know another game that does that, and it's a Mario game. 
Super Mario Sunshine? Super Paper Mario. No, we don't go there. <laughs> Do you want Banjo Kazooie to have a new game made by Toys for Bob? I mean, I mean, yeah, I would. Just a sign of life, you know? Like, I just want to hear some kind of breathing from the franchise. So, yeah, I would well, be totally I wouldn't go that far. Unless we get, or we could get a nuts and bolts, too. But I'd love to see a new game or a remake. It's such a bummer what happened with all those Rareware series. Yeah. After Banjo-Tooie, they never really did anything. Sure, nuts and bolts was garbage, but just because you screw up once, that doesn't mean you can't strike gold again. Oh, Rampant's here! Oh, Perfect right. timing, because we're Welcome talking right about right. Bob. We're talking about Bob. And with Conquer, that game, they were actually planning a sequel, and even the creator said he'd do it when he's asked to make it, because unfortunately, Microsoft owns the rights to it, and they're not doing anything with Conquer. That's... I'd like to see a new Conquer game more than Banjo. Oh, I don't think I was supposed to knock that over. That's okay. Um... He knocked over a glass of lane. Yes, that's exactly why I knocked over. Yeah, I'm like, I'm just, I'm very nervous that like, Microsoft is just going to let Crash and Spyro die in the uh, world. <laughs> even though like- Yeah, I'm concerned too. Even though like, it, it was just revealed that Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, actually sold like 5 million copies. Which is actually, um... That's higher than really any good. 3D Sonic game. <laughs> so, like, it's... <laughs> it's some, it's a franchise that definitely warrants, like, more games. Yeah, the thing is, I don't understand why Microsoft just will buy a bunch of series only to just put them in reserve, like, okay, let's buy this franchise or buy this company and never do anything with them. I think there is that concern with Microsoft. Yes. And I'm just hoping that it's not the case. Exactly. I always try to be optimistic. Toys for Bob said that they were doing other things. I'm not sure. What was that about? Well, what's really interesting is that Toys for Bob went independent. So, at least they're not, like, subject to Microsoft's, like, intense layovers that they've been doing recently. But, um... That whether or not they're gonna continue working on like Crash and Spark games and then see. Although I, I think um I don't know if you ever heard of Canadian guy Ed. Um, I've heard of him. Yeah, he um he actually like was able to recently confirm that like a new spell game is in development. Now whether or not that actually sees the light of day is a whole nother question. <laughs> but apparently I remember it that is... was happening with Donkey Kong too. Yeah. But is he a legitimate source, or is yeah, he based on like, rumors? Really, he's got really good connections and stuff, and so he would not. He's not the kind of person that would just lie, basically, because he knows that his credibility is part of like why his YouTube channel is like so like popular. So he would not just lie about that. Um, the only way that would not be oh, true is if he would. was seriously led astray by like multiple people. But, you know, just because it's in development doesn't mean that it's going to come out, is the thing. You know, there may be a lot of hurdles that happen um, from from now that could change things. But it is at least being worked on. And that's all. A similar know. thing happened with Donkey Kong for the Switch. I think there was a project called Donkey Kong Freedom, and apparently it was being made by Vicarious Visions. Ooh, and okay. Nintendo Prime got to see it. But unfortunately, the game never saw the light of day. Nobody knows what's going on with Donkey Kong besides Nintendo. I do feel like with Spyro, though, it's probably easier to get information about games like Crash and Spyro or anything developed in North America over Nintendo. It seems like to actually get into Nintendo and get insider information, that seems like it would be a challenge and a half. Yeah, Nintendo is, I mean, they got a locked lab, and only uh, Miyamoto has the key, so... Keep it away from Tanabe. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Nuts and Bolts came to Japan. There are only a few Banjo-Kazooie games. It's Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, Banjo-Kazooie, Gruntilda's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance, and then there's Banjo-Pilot. 
And also, nuts and bolts never happened. I mean, that game didn't look that bad. I never tried it out, but I know, I know nothing about it. I guess so. What, what can I say? It was designed to be like a 3D platformer, but then they incorporated vehicles, which ruined the game design. Well, I don't know. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog did it just fine. Shadow the Hedgehog has Edge. All that happened with the Edge and Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. They made the characters pointy. Oh, they look so ugly. The redesigns are some of the worst I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'd say that the redesigns in or Banjo and Kazooie Nuts and Bolts are worse than Crash of Titans. I think that's what it was called. Where you had the tattoos and kind of like the weird skinny look. Hmm. I don't know. When I looked at it, I was like, whoa, it certainly is a choice, you know? Um, those little, like, blocky, like, aesthetics. I feel like that was, like, was that, like, a trend back then? Or am I just, like, imagining things? But, um... I mean, it was a trend to give characters weird designs, like, in Crash of Titans, he has the tattoos for some reason. Oh, yes, I remember that. I kind of like his Crash of Titans design, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like it could be fun, but Banjo-Kazooie does some bolts was not. 2024 yeah. marked 10 years since Donkey Kong end with Tropical Freeze. Yeah. Ugh, it's been that long. Is that, um... Oh my goodness. Is that a platform game? Or is that no, like one of the spin-offs? Oh, it's the rhythm a game. Where you use the bongos on the Wii U. I thought it was like... I thought that's what it sounded like. I was just like, hmm. <laughs> I'm just pranking you. No, Tropical Freeze is one of the mainline entries, but it does kind of sound like a rhythm game, like Tropical Beast. You literally no, but... could tell me anything and I would believe it, because I know nothing about this. Shame on you. All the Donkey Kong platformers are better than any of the Sonic games. Okay, now one. that is just like, that is just false information and I will not tolerate that on my stream. Come on, the chat can back me up here. Every Donkey Kong Country game is better than any Sonic game. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's right. That's not wrong. That's Even not right. Because Sonic Adventure Two exists. That that's why that's not that's not right. Oh, what what just happened? I I swear I did I'm not surprised. press. <laughs> well, it looks like you used the paint thinner. I I swear I did not press a single thing. Huh? I see you're playing it like you play Sonic Heroes. Don't touch the controller. Is that one of those games? <laughs> um, so okay. far, no. But yeah, I literally didn't touch any. Well, I don't know. Maybe I like. Maybe my finger was on like the button, and maybe that's why I did that. Maybe you shook it by or like tilted it, because sometimes motion controls be finicky. But I don't think it was that. So my setup here is like so like inconvenient right now. Like I literally have to like hang back on like this way just to like get the cursor to work and I just like I don't want to like play like this the entire time but it is what it is this try is why... lighting a candle using that as a sensor bar it might be able to work a candle <laughs> yeah step the mood <laughs> you know what I totally would be all for a candle right now um I got like a Taylor Swift candle I've been meaning to use forever. I've just been looking for the oh, right time. Out, though. It's it's one of those candles where like it has Taylor Swift's head on Jesus's body. Really? Yeah. Did you get it from Etsy? Actually, no. My uh, my friend gave it to me as a housewarming gift. Oh, that's nice. And like she knows the me well. She does know you well. I'm surprised we have not gotten a new Donkey Kong game on Switch. Return sold well and Tropical Freeze did quite well on cross both Wii U and Switch. Apparently what happened with that is the Donkey Kong Freedom Project kind of fell through. That might have been what we got. And I don't know what they're doing with it. I think that they're working on a game. Because there's all this stuff for a Super Nintendo world. And you don't come up with things for theme parks and have huge roles in a movie. And not have a game to go along with it. I don't know if you just saw what happened on screen, but literally the enemies like um, thinned out the. Uh... Okay, I'm using thinner. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fuck these guys. I, I, I can't. I don't give a damn. You guys, I've been. Try <laughs> I was trying to like. I was trying to be nice, 
and um you know use paint and change you the hard way yeah the choice is yours but now i'm gonna do this the easy way come on come on over walk on over to me rampant i think that sonic or yeah sonic adventure 2 might come close he's talking about how colors and generations are the best sonic games solid choices though I would say they're the most like solid built choices, so I understand where you're coming from in terms of like, um, what's a well designed game? But in terms of just pure excellence, it has to go to Adventure 2 and Heroes. Oh, that's a little too soon. Okay, there we go. Every Sonic game beats DK. Who said that? I mean, I did. Even Sonic, even I would even prefer playing Sonic 06 over a Donkey Kong game. You know what? I'd rather play Donkey Kong now over Sonic 06. <laughs> I think you would actually like Donkey Kong though. It seems like your kind of game. I think I would like it. I just um, have never got had the time or like the interest in like trying it out. But it, it does seem like something that I probably would enjoy. Then again, I do enjoy very quirky games. It seems like a very solidly built game. <laughs> oh, Rampant. It's going to be Psycho 6 no matter which game you tell me. People don't understand art. That's that's my conclusion with Psycho 6. Why is the camera? Alright, let's see some of the comments. Barrel blast, so from what I've played, it's terrible. Is that the racing game? <laughs> yeah. Is that is that the one the Wii? It I is. almost bought the one the Wii. No, it's it's really bad. Hmm, seems like my kind of vibe. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot this thing. This this red treasure chest. What what is this? <laughs> Barrel Bluff is called the sex game. Playing it is the same as having sex. Scott played it to defeat Sex. That does sound like a Scott He's the Wasp right. line. What an interesting way of putting it. I mean, I think the Mario movie established Donkey Kong as a bit of a womanizer. Donkey Kong is or Mario? Donkey Kong. He just seems like that kind of guy. He seems like the... You know, the the frat college bro kind of guy. I mean, he's voiced by Seth Rogen, so that makes sense. <laughs> Always, I gotta wonder what they were thinking when it came to the voice acting choices, because some of them were perfect, others were Seth Rogen and Donkey Kong. That was just a purely celebrity decision, I feel like. Yeah, that's the thing with a lot of movies. They'll just have celebrities be the voice actors. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If Taylor Swift voiced the Princess Peach, then uh, I would see the movie like ten times. <laughs> Maybe if Peach was nicer. Ooh, okay, I'm inside a Coliseum now. So let's see what happens next. Hey, Mickey! Oh, is this a... Uh, is this that guy who wanted me to like prove his name in the last stream? Like, I think like find his like ship log and um, prove his innocence, but instead I sold the book to someone. <laughs> I think so! I think that's him. <laughs> I'm interested in seeing what he says. Let's see what happens. 
<laughs> so you left my ship's log with those grubby gremlins, huh? Well, here's a little taste of what happens to those who cross me. <laughs> oh, I made the game harder for myself. Oh, that's great. You should have done the right thing instead of the wrong thing. You know what? I have to blame the chat, though. Like, I relinquished control to the chat. And now I'm paying the price for it, so... But at least I got a pin out of it. Like, pins are very important. Oh, shoot, I'm out, I'm out of pain. Oh, but I have, I have thinner, though. I could use thinner. <laughs> okay, very Someone interesting. You play that's, Kingdom Hearts. That's the thing I really love about this game, is how, like, your decisions can, like, impact what happens in the game and stuff. That's good game design. Yeah. It makes your actions have consequences. Yes, and uh, mine certainly did. How are the motion controls in the game? I mean... Oh, why are there more enemies? <laughs> I just defeated all of them. Alright. Oh, I can use thinner on the floor. Let me do that. Yeah, check that out. Oh, I just died. Hi, SB Gaming. What's up? Yeah, Peach in the game is pretty fun. I think that whenever Peach is able to actually do stuff, it's always the most fun to have her, you know, be in a more heroic role, or even if you get to see what Peach is doing, like in Thousand Year Door. It's really cool. Yeah, no, for sure. I think, yeah, I think Peach has um, earned the right to be a girl boss for a little bit. She's been a damsel in distress for, what is it, like three decades now? Almost four. <laughs> <laughs> Let her be That's a girl boss be for a little year. bit. Hey, maybe we can get Mario Galaxy 2 next year. I mean, in a dream, sure. It really would have been nice if they just like included it with that bundle, but I mean apparently that bundle has issues with um, the games that are included in there, so you know, whatever. The thing with 3D All Stars is that it's just such a lazy package, yeah. where it's literally the bare minimum. It seems like something that Nintendo was hearing. Okay, Duffy's saying that they're going to be 3D Mario games to celebrate the 35th anniversary. We got to do this in like two days. <laughs> and that's how we got 3D All-Stars. Same, and our what's up, t and Nothing much, man. Same, just chilling and watching two men sipping thinner. We're not sipping the paint thinner. <laughs> if we were, we would be dead. <laughs> we'd be, no, we'd start off getting loopy and then we'd be dead. Yeah, I can, can I just skip these enemies? Do I really have to fight all of them? Let me see if I could just go to where I'm supposed to go to. Indeed, that is false information. Demetrius is sending me pictures of paper towels soaked with chocolate milk. It's a reference to the dorkly Waluigi thing. Well, um, what? another reference I don't get, so that's great. I didn't even get it at first, but I know what he's insinuating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys, so happy to watch another one of your streams. Good to see you here. Good to see you here too. I'm trying to show these bitches who are who's boss. I'm trying to make small peep pay whoever trying to cross me, even though I crossed him first. This looks like it's a little tricky. It honestly, like, if I can speak my truth here, it's honestly just the ca camera. <laughs> it's the camera that makes it really difficult. You're a crazy when mouse. When the cameras in games start getting good? Yeah. Okay, I think for future reference and future playthroughs, I will help Small Pete. <laughs> because that was not, that was not it. I did not enjoy battling all those enemies. But that's what I get for ex um, exchanging his innocence for a pin. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what you deserve it. I'm like, you could have given me like money at least, or like something else that would have been more, a little more useful. I mean, I guess if I was a completionist, then I would have appreciated the pin, but I'm not, so. If you were a completionist, you would probably withhold pin. <laughs> TNT is spreading misinformation. Well, you know what? Everything is okay with a glass of wine, so he can spread as much misinformation as he wants. Oh, you had a glass of wine? Yes. That's become that's gonna become my stream like initiation thing. It's just a glass of wine. Stream juice? Yeah. I I don't really drink mm. wine at all, like unless I'm like going out. So now I have another excuse to drink some wine. <laughs> it's a special occasion. It is. It is a special occasion. Okay. I don't have any wine with me, but I might make a drink. I'm not sure. What do you guys recommend? I already know what Rampant's gonna say. <laughs> I would probably lay off the lean, if you should think about that. You know what, as much as I joke about it, I've never had it and never want to. For one, it can kill you, and two, it's like a thousand dollars. I love how you say, one, it can kill you, and two, as if one wasn't enough. <laughs> you know, not only will you be dead, you'll be in debt. Ooh, champagne. That's a good idea, cartoon game fanatic. I wish I had champagne. Oh, that would be a good idea. You know? I've got to do. And... Do you drink energy drinks at all? Because I've been drinking these Celsius drinks. I hate energy drinks, so no. You guys, he's not a real gamer. <laughs> I gotta say that I, it was G Fuel that runs in my veins. Yeah. They have fresh and Sonic flavors that are pretty good. Oh yeah, there are Sonic flavors. It's I, actually I just, really good. I just don't like energy drinks. They just... They taste, they taste kind of gross to me. They keep you wired? No, they just taste gross. It really just depends, because I think that Red Bull is kind of yucky, but... But also, yeah, oh, they do keep me very wired. I mean, like... I try not to drink too much caffeine in, in the day. And I'm so obsessed with coffee that, like, why why am I looking for another caffeine source? <laughs> it's usually coffee for me. Need more coffee. Mm. Need more Margaret. <laughs> What was the what was the context for that? I remember that episode. Need more coffee. Get this? Or go on, do the impression. That was really good. Need more coffee. Need more Margaret. <laughs> okay, the context. Mordecai wants to go to a concert not because he cares about the band, but because he wants to see Margaret. <laughs> Even though he sees her every day at the coffee shop. Honestly, like, if I dated a guy that wanted to go see Kanye West, I would say yes. <laughs> need more Kanye. Need more, no, need more coffee. Need more Kanye. Okay, um, question here. So we're at a boss, and there's two ways to defeat it, I believe. You can either use paint or thinner. You guys want me to, um, let's see. Uh, neutralize the the boss and turn him into a good guy with paint or you want me to thin him out and just like wreck him for life <laughs> do you know what i'd say do the right thing <laughs> use the paint yeah well, looks like we got a few few volts of paint rampant wants dinner not surprising there um yeah there's nothing surprising about that <laughs> okay yep lots of paint everyone is feeling bad for this boss Oh, this is a good question. Uh, everyone's saying paint, but going on to the other one, have you seen the episode of SpongeBob, The Great Patty Caper? It sounds very familiar. Super familiar. I probably have seen it. It's... I don't remember what I don't remember what the episode's about. If you tell me the plot, then I think I'll recognize it. Well, what what is it about? It's when they're on the train and they need to solve a mystery. Huh. I think I did see that, but it's been a long time. That's definitely not one that's been in, my, in rotation. That's boating buddies and only boating buddies. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. It's season seven. I have I to rewatch it. I actually liked the Pine Caper more. The other one where SpongeBob needs to find the secret formula, and he can't find it. And Mr. Krabs attempts to say that he stole the formula and frame him. Ah, I see. That was kind of funny. Okay, so multiple oh, this is a good game. question too. Hey Riders, do you like Cosmic Shake or Rehydrated better? Okay, we'll talk about remakes since the remake, then like definitely Cosmic Shake. Cosmic Shake is very solid. It doesn't really I would get say Cosmic Shake is a lot more polished. Oh wow, it's a floating hands boss. I hey, feel wait. like I'm playing a Nintendo game just looking at this. Hey, this is this guy's like the clock wizard. Yeah, but he's using oh no, the hands aren't floating, but they're hands regardless. It seems like that's one of the classic tropes when it comes to boss design. <laughs> Does Sonic have any floating hands? Um, I don't think so. He's not that weird. You know, it's so overdone at this point that it's not even weird. Oh, shoot. It's been out for 14 years, yeah. Ever seen any Disney Channel animated shows lately? I haven't. Been watching a lot of regular show though. Depends on how recent. I have seen shows like um, Gravity Falls, The Owl House. Um, what else is there? There's other ones. <laughs> I, I can't think right now. But like those two are huge highlights. You need to check those out. I'm definitely interested in checking out Gravity Falls because if I love regular style, it seems right up my alley. Rampant asks, Riders DX, would you rather play The Last of Us Part 2 or Pokemon Sword and Shield? Which disgrace to gaming would you rather play? Wait, people don't like The Last of Us Part 2? There's this one guy who really doesn't. If you dare call Pokemon Sword and Shield a disgrace to gaming, he wants you to know full well that The Last of Us Part 2 is a real disgrace and Pokemon can't be disgraceful. I mean, I... So I'm assuming you'd rather play Last of Us 2. <laughs> so, wait. Um, for those of you that played the game before, is there something I'm supposed to be doing with the paint? Besides just painting the hands? Because I, the first time I did this, I did the thinner <laughs> route. So I just thinned out the hands. But, like, is there an extra strategy with the paint? No, I wish I could answer it. But yeah, I know you can I answer it. Play. That's why I asked. Um... I know I feel useless. No, you're not useless. Something. You're just here to... Uh... What are you here for? Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I just got summoned and magically appeared. This yes. time I'm in his basement. Yeah, we we yeah, um, we, yeah, we like to visit each other's basements. We do. I like to think that mine's got a homier feel to it. I mean, mine's in Florida, so it's pretty much underwater. Oh, you know what though? I appreciate Florida. Have you? Taylor Swift has a new song on her album called Florida. Really? Does it talk about the mosquitoes, the heat, and the alligators? You no, know, it talks about like how good of a drug Florida is. I mean, for those going on vacation to Florida, I'm sure. I mean, there are parts I like about it. I don't even know who Quirky Quotes is. One of the SpongeBob YouTubers I'm very well aware of is Pie Guy Rules. I love watching his videos. Oh, he hasn't he been retired. active for a while, I feel like. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> you know, I do have some hope that he'll come back eventually, but... Considering how final his final community post felt, it didn't feel like he had second thoughts. He's like, nope, no more of this. And he wasn't gonna do SpongeBob videos anyway. Yeah. I understand why. But, you know, at the same time, I will admit, it was kind of sad not getting any more of them. Yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe SpongeBob would just do something so unspeakable one day that he'll just have to come back. Have you guys ever heard of Ed, Ed, and Eddie the Misadventures? Is that on the DS? 
That's a, we were talking that's about a console that the last game. Year. Oh, um, it's a console game. Yeah. That's that's that, that was a really solid game. I liked it. Yeah, by all means, if you want to do cartoon reviews, I'll definitely check them out. I did one of my own. It was, of course, to love a patty, but I've been thinking of doing more. Gen 7 is a masterpiece. I agree with you there. Yeah, Pie Guy Rules is out. I mean, he's, or Pie Guy Rules also helped people become aware of how the spin-offs are truly awful. Oh, you know what? You know what I should have been doing? I should have been painting like both. Like instead of doing like one and then going for the other, I should have been painting both at the same time. That's what I'm doing wrong, I think. Yeah, maybe, or I don't know if it's for this game, but some games there's like no time you want to waste. So just paint both hands while that other one's convulsing or doing whatever it is. I think that one's done. Oh shit. Shoot, shoot, what did I do? <laughs> You'll see what I just did. <laughs> oh god, that's so dumb. Why did I do that? Well, actually, though. It looks like I, you got him. Like, I got it, but then I just, like, jumped into the thinner. Oh no. The stream's a little delayed. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's kind of like when I'm almost done with the level of heroes, and then boom, fall off. Yeah. So this is what it's like for you, <laughs> playing, playing heroes. Well, you know. You uh, can't help yourself when it comes to falling in the thinner, can you? Yeah, but you know what? This is a part of, like, the game experience, you know? It's like, you gotta keep playing the game until you get it. Well, nowadays, you, that's not the case. You just play the game. Yeah, and then, you like... You need to have... It just, like, happens. as easy as possible. Okay, but well, I'm getting it now, though. Imagine an epic SpongeBob game with all the characters that would be in the game before the 90s, like Nicktoons. I feel like most aren't forgotten. I'm sure there's some Forgotten like, Splinter games. Okay, now what do I do here is the question. That's the good question. Oh, I think here you we should go. Just... You got it. Yeah. Okay, do I got it. Do you ever think when you're doing <laughs> games like this sometimes? Like, you think the solution is more complicated than it actually is? Yeah. Okay, wow. That happens to me all the time. And you know what? I did not look at the chat once while doing that, so I figured that out by myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> good job. You get a gold star. <laughs> You've done a good noodle today. All right. Well, I appreciate you all for challenging me and making me do something. I could have easily just thin them out like I did before. I'm glad you did, you did the right thing, and look how happy he is. Don't you feel good that you did that? I guess you so. used the paint instead of the thinner. <laughs> You're doing the Sonic thing. I mean, I'm doing a Sonic thing. The finger wag. I just saw it. <laughs> Stream's a little delayed, but also yeah. I gotta say, love the shirt. Yeah. It, I see it's... you got some of that Pax swag. Yeah, this is the Pax 20th anniversary shirt. I love the shirt. The one I got was the black and red one. Of course I got the black one and red like. one. It has like the retro logo and I think the new uh, one. Oh, okay, gotcha. I guess I'm I'm really starting to fall in love with pink shirts. So I've been just wanting to get more pink shirts. I don't think I have a single one. I'm too emo for that. It's <laughs> too pastel and too bright. I'm in my Taylor Swift lover era. I guess I'm in my Virtual Boy era. No, you're in the Tales of Reputation red. era. I don't even know what eras are. Ooh. I have a feeling that by going on your streams enough, I'll probably have more knowledge of Taylor Swift than I ever should have. Absolutely. You've been asking this question a few times, so we already answered. Or I already answered. Have you seen Quirky Quilts? Because I haven't. Quirky Quilts. 
Um, yeah, some SpongeBob reaction channel. Nah, I never heard. Wait, I, I have seen a SpongeBob reaction channel. Is that the guy that like um, shows the, sh the the clips of the show through a mirror, or is that different? Like, it's the most like, it's the most oh, yeah. like Our... low budget setting ever. Like, he literally just films himself watching the show, and he has the show's reflection show in the mirror to get around copyright. Yeah, so, that's him. That's him. That's him. Oh, I, I love him. He is so funny. <laughs> the way that he laughs I mean, at like the, the way that he laughs at like the classic episodes because you can actually tell that he genuinely has not seen this stuff before because the way that he laughs at it is like you can tell it's like genuine, and <laughs> it's it's hilarious. I've always seen a few reaction videos. Yeah. And maybe this comment would be good for a reaction. Riders DX want to make this a review tech USA stream and play the game shirt with? No. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You ask to... me, ask me that again um, when I have like ten percent body fat. <laughs> do, or that's what I'd do too. Yeah. I'd have to get in better shape before ever considering that. But yeah, really no, he has guts. Like I mean, I can tell he's the kind of guy that doesn't give a damn about that. So. You know, good for him, but um, I am an no, his streams. <laughs> I'm an it's anxious going that. on dirty like millennial. Leave, leave me alone. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm that anxious, but I don't even think you're that anxious. I think you just have some self-respect. No, 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 no. I'm very anxious. Yeah, I would say that I'm not even gonna or really considering <laughs> that unless I get ripped. But if you want to be able, like Review Tech USA. You have to have two statues of chickens, and you have to be blazed during the entire stream. Well, I mean, like, I do want to subscribers. <laughs> so. I don't know. I mean, you're trading your dignity for it. Apparently, he's going cuckoo, by the way. Well, I mean. I'm not sure about it. Well, I don't know anything about that, but I mean, if you make, like, seven videos a week, I can kind of see. I can kind of see it. Keep it above him, got up. <laughs> I am burnt out, guys. I heard in a video you can actually play Mario Odyssey on a Nintendo 3DS with a fan game hack. I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised that that's like a thing. Let me check that out because I know that Odyssey can kind of be played with the Captain Toad levels, but I've never heard of this. Yeah. Oh! There's actually a Mario Odyssey DS thing. Oh. I'm not sure. Ooh. It's like a Mario 64 DS hack. I'm not uh. sure. Oh, you can throw hats, but it just seems like oh. It seems like it's just reskin. Like they have the brutal, oh, the green I see. one. Replace King Babam. <laughs> Okay, so I'm talking to regular Pete right now, and he is um, badgering me for not helping small Pete. <laughs> so, you didn't help him at all, did you? Seems you're not the goody two-shoes everybody thinks. Damn. Well, if you don't start helping out my family, I ain't gonna do nothing to help you out. <laughs> and I heard rumors that you'll be wanting the gear that I'm rumored to have. That means you're gonna be needing my help, see? Well, here's you know, the deal on the like gear. It just really encourages you to do the right thing, otherwise you get punished for it. <laughs> well, you know, it actually like really harkens back to um, a classic trope of Mickey cartoons, I think. Like, I think there's a fair share of Mickey cartoons where he's like really chaotic. It really like, you know, just like very Looney Tooney, basically. So this game kind of gives you the opportunity to be that Mickey, in a sense. It does play great homage to the classics. It does. I grew up on like Looney Tunes, so like unfortunately I'm not as familiar with like all the classic cartoon references of this game. Um, but I can appreciate that um, the references seem to run very, very deep over here. Um, maybe I should check out the Disney cartoons because I love Looney Tunes I once. I, like I, I rewatch them all the time. <laughs> it wasn't Looney Tunes, but I used to watch a lot of Tom and Jerry. But oh, that's pretty yeah. much the same thing over and over again. Tom and Jerry was the other one I was really into as well. I think actually Tom and Jerry came before. Too. Yeah, 
Tom and Jerry came before Looney Tunes for me, actually. I just kind of grouped them together because they technically come from like Warner Brothers and stuff. Big Mouth Gilda is always bragging about how fast she is, so I set up a race for her. Told her I'd give her a prize if she could beat it, seeing as how I didn't think she could. Mm -hmm. One way she did, but we never agreed on no prize. So I gave her that worthless gear. Ha! <laughs> he is pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> but that's fun though. I love I love those decisions. Yeah, I like it too. I think it's fun just seeing all the different outcomes. Sometimes it's good to be the bad guy in games. Yeah, for sure. I'm like a goody two shoes, so it legitimately like makes me feel bad. <laughs> but <laughs> wow, every single game is gonna be on the DS eventually, huh? Cartoon Retro Boy, I don't know what you're asking, but I love My Little Pony. That's such a great cartoon. Cartoon is Magic or the 80s one? Um, the one that came out in the 2000s. That had to be like bundled with the VHS tapes, or they probably had VHSs of those. I, I don't know why I watched watch it. Strawberry Shortcake with my sister. Did you have one of those TVs that was a combo with a VHS player? Yes, I did. Oh, that was classic. Me too. Oh yeah, yeah the, tw little one and the 2010 one. That was the one I really liked. The 2010 My Little Pony cartoons. I mean, friendship indeed is magic. I'm surprised it got the following that it did. You gotta get them also not surprised. Yeah, isn't it mostly like young, uh, young adult males that like it now? Yeah, bronies. So, so me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Although you're also a Swifty, so it's not too far off. Yeah, it's like mostly like straight bros that that really like it. To me, have you heard of the Tom and Jerry era where Tom and violently angry owner called Clint Clobber he brutalized Tom? I don't remember that. I remember it got pretty violent, though. Wait, were they violent towards Jerry? Because there are a lot of owners violent was... towards Tom. <laughs> yeah, they were violent towards Tom. I think I remember that. I don't remember what his name was, though. The owner. I mean, they don't make cartoons like they did back then. <laughs> Now in Russia, they pretty much had a ripoff of Tom and Jerry, where instead of a cat and a mouse, it was a wolf and a rabbit. And in that one, the amount of smoking and drinking is insane. <laughs> like, you always see the wolf character. His name is Bulk, which I think translates to wolf in Russian. Now, I have a Russian name, but I'm not Russian at all, at least of what I know. Yeah. I'll find that out eventually. Oh, Cartoon Retro Boy. I've never seen a G-Force show, I think. Is G-Force the guinea pigs? Or the G- Or let's see. G-4. Oh. oh, I thought it was G-Force for a second. And it was some movie about guinea pigs. I thought it was like that video game channel. G-4 is a video game channel. I was thinking of the or the guinea pig movie. <laughs> yeah, the one that like, um... I think I saw a little bit of it when I was a kid. Like, I think we technically had the channel, but I was never interested in watching it. Like, for me, finding gaming content was on the internet, even back then. I started getting into YouTube in 2010, 2011. I remember the first few videos I was watching were the SpongeBob YouTube groups like Ouija Towers. Yeah. You gotta at least see that one. <laughs> I don't know. YouTube groups have never clicked for me, personally. It just Not seems even like the SpongeBob ones. It just seems like very acquired taste in terms of the humor. It's a durian of content. <laughs> I mean, it's literally called YouTube poop. With a smoke, they pinch back. I think the thing is, you actually have some standards, and you won't laugh at anything like I will. No, I think like um, 
Well, I will fake laugh at everything. Like Sean White at E3 2008. You think that's bad? Remember the time that Sean White was at Nintendo's E3 2008? <laughs> that was quite the presentation. I don't know if you ever saw it, but that had to be one of the worst E3s Nintendo's ever had. I probably did see it, but it's been so long. I don't think I've ever rewatched it since then. I'm trying to think, what E3 presentations have I rewatched? I think um, the PS4 one, when they basically dunked on Xbox, that's like one of the only ones I've rewatched. You're definitely going to want to rewatch E3 2008 at some point. So you know how Nintendo usually will have the Japanese game developers host it? It was Iwata before. Yeah. And then sometimes they had Reggie. Well, for this one, they had a soccer mom, Cammy Dunaway, host the event. So just imagine, picture a Karen hosting a Nintendo conference. <laughs> That's what E3 2008 was. And it was Cammy Dunaway talking about a how she hurt her wrist on a vacation. She was talking about it her kids growing up. And it was funny because she was playing Wii Sports Resort and was talking about, oh, that's the fault of my bad wrist action. <laughs> it was so bad, but in a good way. It was bad if you were excited for Nintendo games at the time and all you got was that, but at the same time, it's like, oh, oh the best moment is when they demoed Wii Music. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> it was it was so bad that it was funny. I've heard the Wii Play games were really good. Well, the thing is the first Wii Play wasn't, but Wii Play Motion is. Yeah. I feel I'm like I'm sure you have Wii Play. I don't know if I have Wii Play. I'm trying to think if I ever played that. You get a second Wii remote? I have no recollection of this at all. If you got a second Wii Remote, chances are you have Wii Play. Because what they did is they had a bundle with Wii Play and a Wii Remote for 50 bucks. So I don't think I have it. Then, I'm like, I feel like I would definitely remember having it if I did. You're not missing out on much. It's kind of a crappy minigame collection. Yeah, the Wii is not sure on minigame collections. Yeah, but this one was coming directly from Nintendo. You'd expect better, but... I mean, what it consisted of was... There was like a Pong game that used motion controls. There was like this weird, trippy, bubble posing game. It was pretty much Where's Waldo, but not as fun. Also, a ripoff of combat, and then there's this... Horseback riding it? No, it was cows. We were riding cows, and the detection is so bad for the motion controls. It's not a very good game. I'll take your word for it. Um, 3DS user, um, clearly there are two people that give a damn about these games, Scott and Demich. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't want to miss this comment. Someone said, would there be a stream where you would Demich would play Bugs Bunny Lost in Time? That is an iconic classic license game. I don't even played that game before. But I love that game. That was my very first that's video actually, game. That's actually a good idea. I feel like if you played my first video game, it'd be kind of a boring stream. <laughs> Bugs Bunny Lost in Time is just a very like run the mill like licensed game on the PlayStation One. But I I just love it. This is my very first video I'm game. I'm gonna put it on my medium mini. <laughs> Those handhelds, man. You can play PlayStation 1 games on a little Game Boy handheld, it's great. Yeah. So you never have to stop gaming. I could play your first game, but <laughs> if you played my first game, it would be Pac-Man. I really played Pac-Man, at least in the arcade. Yeah, it's about as basic as you can get when it comes to a gaming experience. I mean, it's a very iconic one, you know, no, if I had to be honest. I mean, it doesn't get much more iconic than Pac-Man, but do you remember back in the 2000s when they had the plug-in plays oh yes i actually get asked all the time to like talk about them and i just i just never get to it but i would love to one day they're actually really high quality surprisingly oh, okay. it's interesting because the new ones that they make are just complete trash but the ones that jack specific was making 
They're of insanely good quality. The ah. emulation's really good. The joysticks are actually made of metal, so it feels like an arcade stick. Really high quality stuff. Alright then. I really want to try to sponge up one at least. I gotta try that at some point. Yeah, because his nose is the joystick. Yeah. I got one, but it was... So it was so old that the batteries like disintegrated inside of it. Oh, nice. You got that nice corrosion. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm not touching that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's probably not good to mess with anything with corrosion. <laughs> M&M's games are shovelware crap. Wow, I'm surprised. I really want to try M&M carts. Like, when Scott the Waz <laughs> talked about that, I was like, that doesn't look too bad. You know, I actually wanted to get it because I thought it looked cool when I was a kid. Yeah. Apparently it was good that I didn't. Yeah, it was, it was good that you didn't. Although I do have the one on the DS, so I haven't played it yet. It doesn't have the purple m and though, so I'm not that interested. What's this? Interesting. My favorite Mario game used to be Super Mario Sunshine, I'll correct that. Your favorite Mario game is Super Mario Sunshine. Well, um, uh, good for you. Like, every lost child needs its owner, so. <laughs> How dare you call Super Mario Sunshine a lost child? I mean, it certainly is in terms of quality. You gotta replay it. I, I, I know I do. It's just, I really don't want to. <laughs> I dare you to tell Joshi your thoughts on Super Mario Sunshine. I don't even know who I don't know who this is, so I have no problems telling a random stranger my opinions on a video game. The world's biggest fan of Super Mario Sunshine. Well, okay, whatever. Every game has its biggest fan. I mean, Eminem Karts has its biggest fan, for instance. I'm sure it's a kid named Victor who lives in Yugoslavia. That's who the Eminem's car racing fan probably is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think Odyssey must have beaten Sunshine when it comes to favorite Mario game. I mean, I won't argue with you there. Sunshine isn't my favorite Mario game, but I'll always defend it. I mean, yeah. There are it... so many good Mario games. It definitely needs its defenders. Okay. All right. Pete. I would say maybe Crash Twin Sanity, since it's not as like optimized. Sunshine has a bit of jank to it. I love Crash Twin Sanity. Way better than Sunshine. I actually got that game as a birthday gift. Guess who sent it over? What do you mean, guess who sent it over? I don't know your family. <laughs> it's not a family member, you've actually met him. Oh, really? Well, at least talk to him. TND? Yep. Why would TND send you <laughs> Crash Twin Sandy? <laughs> it was a birthday gift. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's I'm sweet. It was nice. I'm thinking of, for a broken gift this year, I would just send him 60 copies of Princess Peach Showtime. Well, that's gonna be really pricey for you for the time being. It will be. It'd Six, be worth it, though. Nintendo $60, gets 60 more sales. And you would be what? Like, how many, how many, how much money is that? 60 times 60? <laughs> 3600. That has to be like 3600. I think it's thirty-six hundred dollars, but that's just off the top of my head. I'll just give up any vacations for the rest of the year, and that's give up food for a few days. Oh, 3DS is saying it's um sixty thousand dollars. It's not that much. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have the purple thunder, since you're having that red wine. A purple and now thunder. Purple thunder is 
It's not weed. It's a flavor of Mountain Dew. All right. You can only get it at Circle K. I don't know you what that Kroger is. You have Kroger in New England? No, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you don't know what Kroger is either? Oh, I don't, I know Kroger. That's not here in New England, but um, when you I was in Ohio, it, in it was it was there. Yeah, we don't have Kroger, but we have Circle K, which the Mountain Dew Purple Thunder is exclusive to. Yeah, that I have, is. Like, a few cans of that. That's extremely alien to me. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> it doesn't seem like you'd be a Mountain Dew aficionado. I know I am. I know Rampin is. I know most gamers are. Well, you must have loved the Mountain Dew booth at PAX East. I loved it so much I didn't go. <laughs> I wanted to go to Duncan one to get one of those goofy hats. I could not kill us. Purple Thunder is pretty good. All right. I'll take your word for it. I think you might like it. It's just like a grape. It has a, like a light grape flavor. I'll try it again. I'm going to start getting really nerdy here, but it just tastes like light pitch black. That sounds really strange and does not sound appetizing at all. <laughs> light I mean, pitch most of black. the non goo flavors don't sound appetizing. Whiteout's literally, it was one of the flavors. Whiteout. What is that even supposed to taste like? It tastes like thinner. It sounds like it would taste like thinner. <laughs> Whiteout would be perfect to drink during this stream, but <laughs> instead, we're going to have some good old classic thinner. No, Whiteout. Yeah, that's one of the worst names, come to think of it. <laughs> From what I remember, it tasted a little like orange. It had like a light citrus flavor. Yeah. They discontinued it though. All right then. Rapid, did you ever try Mountain Dew Whiteout? He's oh, gonna wait, say that he. He's gonna say that he's drunk in like twenty cans of that today. He probably has it in a secret stash. <laughs> that and Logwire. Yeah, come to think of it. Oh, oh, you've never heard of Whiteout? Wow. Okay, then. You know, I taught myself the colors of the rainbow with the Mountain Dew flavors that there were. <laughs> there was, there's a regular, which is like a yellowish green, code red, blue for voltage, orange live wire, pitch black was purple, and now we got purple thunder, which is obviously violet. Oh man, I feel like such a nerd talking about Mountain Dew to you, considering that I... you haven't had Mountain Dew, or you just are you not a fan at all? I just I don't I actually don't drink a lot of soda, to be honest. So that's just that's now, just the it. The thing is, I used to back when I was starting off college. But yeah. what I would do is at the end of the week I'd celebrate with a live wire, and at the time I thought having a lot of soda would have no consequences, but turns out you gain a lot of weight by drinking soda. Yeah. So nowadays it's... That's kind of one reason I don't drink a lot of soda and trying to lose weight. It's, <laughs> it's one of the worst possible things you can drink for weight gain. <laughs> like with so or at least with or booze, they're the fun effects, even if you gain weight. Yeah. But I gotta soda, say, um, I don't know why, but the wine is hitting me a lot harder than it usually does. So, if I'm being honest with you, I've only digested like half of what you said tonight. <laughs> half of what? Half of what you've said tonight. <laughs> well, it's time for me to digest <laughs> half of what you said. I'm trying to think, why are we talking about Mountain Dew of a sudden? I feel like we've been talking about that a lot. Because I'm not, oh yeah, I just brought it up myself, because I was thinking of what to get for myself. Oh, okay, that's where it started. Um, someone said in the chat, um, if I could stream more Mickey Mouse games. I think I'll move on to Epic Mickey 2 when I finish this. I mean, I don't see why not. And then, um, yeah, if there's any other Disney games you want me to touch, then let me know. I'm trying to think, what Disney games have I played in the past? Um... Mostly the movie games. So I play like Ratatouille and Incredibles, for instance. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've played. 
I think you should check out that 3DS one. I'm not sure how touchscreen heavy oh, it is. Oh yeah, forgot about that one. Yeah, I can I can check that one out too. Oh, uh, and you know I gotta say um, I don't play it anymore because I literally lost like my life when I was playing it. <laughs> but um, Disney Dreamlight Valley, that game is addicting as hell. I couldn't stop playing it for like a month. I had to I had to literally stop. I can't touch that game. It is basically the Disney equivalent of Animal Crossing. I didn't even know there was one. Yeah. If you like Animal Crossing, you'll like it. Are you still playing Animal Crossing? No, I actually forced myself to stop. I, t I took out the cartridge in a Switch. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> I, I made myself stop, so we, we are finally free. <laughs> I can't wait to go back and have all the resins be like, where the hell have you been? Well, I don't think they're going to mind too much. Or no. will they? What if the residents got really mean if you didn't show up and then you see the destruction that you caused? <laughs> Rampant suggesting that we play GoldenEye on stream sometime. I mean, you can play that. <laughs> Are you in a first-person shooters? No, absolutely not. Me neither. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I need to. I'm trying to. I, I'm trying to digest this comment. You can your character fat in Pokemon now. Oh yeah, I saw that. What? Yeah, you are... <laughs> what the comment is saying? In Pokemon Go, there's a new update where you can change your character to be fat. Like, oh. you can literally make your character be obese. Oh, okay, well... That's fine, I guess. <laughs> oh, look, you got yourself a Mountain Dew enthusiast right here, Will Gaming. She, he's drinking, um... Goji Citrus Strawberry. When did flavors of soda become so complicated? They're trying to copy Starbucks, I swear. It's not just soda, it's everything. They're literally turning everything into cereal and chips, too. <laughs> My gosh, the last few chips flavors I've got were just I... so terrible that I might as well just become, like, a vegan now. I just want... What's my favorite chip flavors, actually? Sour cream and onion and barbecue. Like, we don't need to complicate yeah. it anymore. You're a basic bitch. I am, and I'm proud of it. I usually like the weird stuff, like the taco-flavored Doritos. Those are pretty good. <laughs> Anything flaming hot, I don't think my stomach can handle it anymore, though. Yeah, that, but... that's tough. Ooh, you ever tried the flaming hot chips before, like the hot Cheetos? No. They're really good, but also probably not really good for you. <laughs> I've been hearing some noises from that safe up there. We went from talking about video games to snacks. Now I'm getting kind of hungry. Takis. I eat Pringles sometimes, but I've had less of a desire to ever since they changed the logo. Mm -hmm. Takis are okay. I don't know, I'm not into them personally. Okay, yeah, we have a very um, interesting scenario here. So, we can get totally, like, cartoon if you want to. So, this guy... So, I guess I'm trying to find out what's inside the safe. So, I have two options. I could just, like, thin out the wood and make the safe drop down. Or I can get this guy to move and then do that. <laughs> so What's the nicer option? Would do you guys would you all be would you all want me to um thin out the safe and crush this pirate? <laughs> or um try to get him to move first and then do it? <laughs> I would say just for your own sake, try to get him to move. Yeah. Okay. But, well, are we talking about Mr. Pirate here? Yeah, this pirate in front of me. Oh, well, if it's a pirate, I don't care what you do. <laughs> uh, basically, do y'all want me to murder the pirate or not? That's that's the question here. 
Hey, Mr. Pirate, I wouldn't go in there if I were you. <laughs> While you all let me know what you think. Wait, what's that? Rabbit, of course, is saying murder, Mr. Pirate. <laughs> uh, why y'all vote? I'm just gonna say hi to animatronic Goofy here. We got one vote for murdering the pirate. Hey, Mr. Pirate, time to die. <laughs> <laughs> So, looks like Rampant's the only vote, so I guess Rampant's gonna decide it solely. <laughs> Rampant, yeah, this is what I call a democracy right here. Rampant's <laughs> the only one who votes. <laughs> so, What's yeah. the worst DS game you've ever played? Alright. Um, I can't think of that answer right now. I'm too curious. Oh, this is gonna break my heart. I know it's just a random pirate, but please stand for a moment of silence. <laughs> well, he had a good life. I don't know what comes after Wasteland, but it can't be good. So, rest in peace. <laughs> rest in peace, Mr. Pilot. All right, let's see if I can actually do this though. Let's see. Ooh, careful, Mickey. If dinner touches that beam, the safe will drop right on top of Moody. <laughs> All right, Rampant's the only vote, so we are going to drop the safe on top of Moody. That's the pirate's name, Moody. Let's see what happens. Wait, his name is Moody? Yeah, his name is Moody. Well, he's definitely not going to be in a mood anymore when this happens. I don't think he's... Oh, oh no. Oh, no. This does not look good. <laughs> what? You did see Moody standing under that thing, didn't you? It'll take him a long time to recover from that. <laughs> Dang. It kind of reminds me of a Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. There's literally a mission. Oh, well, it's not as violent as that. But there's a mission where there's a baby dinosaur, and I couldn't figure out what to do for the longest time because it would just follow you around. And then you go to this ledge that has a cinder block above it. <laughs> you literally have to sacrifice a baby dinosaur. Damn. <laughs> well, this guy is very grateful that I freed him from the safe at least. <laughs> What a scam. <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't die. <laughs> he just needs to recover. That's actually kind of worse. Because now I have to like look at him in the face once he recovers. You're going to feel guilt. The It'd pirate be... is dead. <laughs> okay. Dang. That, that actually was kind of tough for me. But, I mean, uh, it is what... <laughs> what a scum bath, what a scum bop scam. <laughs> scum bob. Okay, so I need to get a wrench for this gremlin inside um, my house. How would Demetri react if the Switch 2 launch title was a Pokemon racing game instead of Mario Kart 9? Probably would be miffed. If it's a good game, I wouldn't be opposed to it. But we know that Pokemon's less capable than Sonic of making good games. <laughs> wow, this telephone looks really wonky. I don't see the phone. Yo, you'll see it soon. Look, if he gets his wrench back, he is going to disassemble me. Disassemble? He's still mad that I had him locked up in that safe. Really, though, he had it coming. Oh, the phone's talking! <laughs> anyway, I can tell you you need the wrench, so I'll tell you what. If you can help me restore my signal to Main Street, I'll give you the wrench. There are three more power boxes like this around Old Town. Enabling them will allow me to reach people in Main Street, okay? 
come back to me when you start them and I'll give you the wrench. So you want me to do work to get the wrench. That's fine, I guess. Or there's another option outside. <laughs> Let's take a look at the other option. <laughs> That telephone thinks he can keep my wrench. He's not even a gremlin. I respect at your house, but if you let me go in there, I'll get my wrench back. <laughs> can I go in and get my wrench? Okay, we got another question here. So, um, should I save the telephone's life and activate the little boxes so he gives me the wrench so I can give it back to the gremlin? Or should I let the gremlin go inside a house and basically kill the telephone? I'd say do the right thing to cancel out the wrong thing, but I guess we'll let Rampin decide. <laughs> Someone says not do it. It's bad. Okay, so don't let the gremlin go into the house is what you're saying? Yeah, just do the right thing. So I I'm gonna, by the end of the stream, I'd have killed a pirate, but I had to save a telephone. <laughs> <laughs> That's my priorities. I value my phone over over lives. Okay, it looks well, like the what kind of phone it is. The majority seems to want me to save the telephone. All right. <laughs> I guess we'll save the telephone. <laughs> We're gonna save the telephone, and Mr. Krabs. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I guess it would be evil to. Uh... Um, kill the telephone. Okay, we'll save the telephone. So let's look around. I mean, and... there. Yeah. That telephone was very nice to you. What? No, he wasn't. He was like, "What? I'm not giving you my wrench because that that bitch is gonna kill me." <laughs> but if you do he this just thing, from... charming. Yeah. Okay, so we got one. O we got one over here. Now um, I don't know where the other telephones are, so this is gonna be very interesting. Rampant, I don't think the chat's gonna be like, ouch, dang. <laughs> what year did. Oh, this is a good question. What year did he go to the Nick Hotel in Orlando? Riders DX, did you ever go? No, I never got to go, actually. It's, um, that's, that's, it's very. I very much regret that. <laughs> I went in 2005, 2012, and 2014. Oh, cool. Wow. I don't remember much about well, the Well, you live in Florida, trip. so like, it makes yeah. sense. I don't remember much about the 2005 trip, other than a lifeguard yelled at me. And then from there on, I remembered hating lifeguards, because I saw them as going against me knowing how to swim. <laughs> I never needed their help, by the way. I knew how to swim. Oh, uh, that's nice. Riders DX, what's your opinion on Starlight Glimmer as a character in My Little Pony? Starlight Glimmer? I don't remember who that is. Let me look it up. Starlight Glimmer. Alright, here it is. Starlight Glimmer. Who is that? Oh! Oh my god! She's, she's, she's just fabulous. She's like the Mariah Carey. What? No, that wasn't a villain. That was one of the main ponies. That was the one that was very, like, high fashion <laughs> sense, like, pony. The only I... fashion I got is Mario Sunshine shirt. <laughs> wow, that is, yeah, fantastic fashion right there. Yeah, Actually, no, that's a really good shirt. I really like that shirt. Yeah, definitely help with the ladder. Do you think Starlight should be friends with Trixie Lula Moon? Man, I need to rewatch this show because I actually don't remember these names at all. <laughs> I watched the entire series, even the movie, and like I already forgot the names. <laughs> Trixie Luna. Who is this? Oh, Trixie. Oh, that that character was okay. <laughs> 
She was fine. I mean, I guess they could be friends, but they don't really seem like each other's types, personally. My, my personal opinion. Alright. I really don't know where, like, these telephones are. I guess I'll just keep looking until I find it. Which SpongeBob character does Demetri relate to the most? That's a good question. Because oftentimes I, I feel like SpongeBob. I know everyone says, when I was a kid, I related to SpongeBob. But as an adult, I relate to Squidward. There are moments where I felt like Squidward. But I usually feel like SpongeBob. Although apparently, I sound a little like Patrick. Do I? I mean... I think you could probably do a good Patrick impression. I don't know if I could do a good Patrick impression. It's not really my specialty. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. No, when TNT does an impression of me, he always makes it sound like Patrick. You know, I'd love to hear you do an impression of me. Uh, I don't even know where to start with that. Um, maybe when I don't have so much wine in my system. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if I don't want to do it with wine in my system, then I don't feel like I, I would want to do it without wine in my system either, now that I think about it. <laughs> Save that for too many games. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait for too many games. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. Me too. I just applied, so hopefully I'll get in. You'll definitely get in. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying Why to get my numbers to be really good for like the path for like these next couple months so that they'll have so that they'll definitely let me in I think you'll get let in regardless yeah. you have more than enough than or at the 25 threshold oh so yeah you're not too far or, I got it's all not the subscribers like you're in stress. maybe you could start doing mukbangs just for a little subscriber boost Ah, oh, here is the fourth one. Okay, I got all the power boxes. What is this comment? If Taylor Swift was an evil villain and said who was missing before breaking out into a dance number with her two bumbling henchmen, what would your reaction be? She's already a villain. <laughs> that is a certified rampant question. She's already a villain. Have you seen Look What You Made Me Do? <laughs> Pretty good song, not gonna lie. Yeah, she has an, another song on the new album that I feel like is like a successor to that. It's called "Who's Afraid of Little Old Me." <laughs> Are there any songs about Taylor's ex-boyfriends in the new album? I mean, what kind of question is that? Of course there are. <laughs> in other news, water is wet. <laughs> it, no, Taylor Swift is not single. She found someone. But I do wonder, how can someone like that have so many boyfriends? Like, you would assume one would stick around. I mean, I, listen, like, every guy is going to be interested in Taylor Swift because uh, look at her. <laughs> she, she, is, she is gorgeous. She has a billion dollars. Like, <laughs> every, guy is, every guy would say yes to dating her. But I feel like she just, like, she's not going to find a guy that will live up to her level because her level is just outrageously high <laughs> I don't think that she will and that's being completely fair yeah I don't think any guy has that amount of influence I'm thinking maybe like Elon Musk but she would never date Elon Musk <laughs> honestly no sane person would that guy is insane <laughs> and not in a good way either no I would who would want to date Elon Musk like honestly I would. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna add Shadow the Hedgehog into every Sonic game. That's what Year of the Sh Fearless Year of the Shadow is for. What if they literally did a version of Sonic 1 that had Shadow the Hedgehog in it, like a fan game? <laughs> I mean, I feel like that wouldn't be that hard to do. I've seen people make that mod before. There's actually a really cool one for Sonic 2. Yeah. I believe it's called Sonic Heroes 
or Sonic 2 Heroes, where you can switch off between three characters at once. Yes, I think I've I seen that. Say, Sonic Community is really talented when it comes to mods. I'm impressed with the amount of stuff they can do. Well, you know, when the publisher allows them to do that, it's, it's crazy to see what they can do. <laughs> Look, I will usually bend over for Mario, but not in this case. No. You can see some of the new Super Mario Brothers ROM hacks. The newer Super Mario Brothers DS is great. So is the one on the way. Oh, this is a drag. Um, Riders DX, all you have to do is a Kermit slash Ernie impression to imitate the Meech. <laughs> I've heard Seuss, but I haven't heard that. I've heard Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie, though. I'm the woodpecker, except with dirt. <laughs> Double oh my god, like I love that scene, but it's because of the music. Actually, that show's music is like underappreciated. Like that, the music is also such like a big reason. Style. It's such a big reason as to why that show is so funny. It's just the music. <laughs> it's like, you know, when, 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 when Ed does that scene with the woodpecker, he's like, the music's like, dur, 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 dur. Dirt. I know exactly Dirt. what you're talking about. <laughs> Some shows have really funny music that just like it sticks with you. The yeah. only other one I can think of is Max and Ruby, but I think we talked about that the last stream, and that was like after your time. But there's like this rag kind of music, and whenever Max does something, it's like do 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 do. It's it's really funny. Yeah, music design for shows, like, it's so important. Like, way more important than you think. Oh, I just missed the film reel. <laughs> can, can I... Oh, oh, I think I might die. Are you able to go back? Oh, I'm gonna die, so <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> hey, you're playing Peach Showtime without playing Peach Showtime. You can't backtrack in that game either. Yeah, you can't replay these levels except like a few select ones. So if I want that film reel, I need to get it now. I I have a feeling a remake will give us the opportunity to replay levels though. That just seems like a very um, reasonable thing to expect. Search up the episode Squid Idiot Box, it's a sequel to Idiot Box. I heard about that, I don't know if it's good though. I've never seen it. I didn't even realize they were on 14 seasons, to be honest. I Honestly, thought they were like the most... The most Spongebob I've kept up with recently is Glorb, but I don't even think that counts. Oh, I thought you, you I actually were legit mentioning an episode name, but no, you just mentioned that stupid account. No, it's actually an actual episode, Sweaty It Box. <laughs> That's a real episode. It seems like you're not a fan of Glorb either. TND, whenever I mention Glorb, he just hangs up the phone. I mean, honestly, like, what's the point of Glorb when you have Taylor Swift's Torture Poets Department? <laughs> because Glorb has edgy SpongeBob characters. Karen's turned into a killing machine. Karen did a diss track towards every character in Spongebob, even Pearl. She didn't hold anything back. But, um, Taylor Swift has Who's Afraid of Little Old Me. And that's all I need in my life. I mean, Glorb has mob ties with stacked Mrs. Puff. What more do I need? <laughs> I will never look at Mrs. Puff the same way again. Mrs. Puff just seems like she seems like the kind of person that would take on that persona she just seems like a person that's constantly trying to find herself in this in this world apparently from what i remember one of our streams we're doing i found out that mrs pop and mr crabs are now dating yeah they're still dating like they're there's there's subtle references to them dating in the new episodes the meets just needs me and he's set for all eternity I wonder, take a guess who left that comment. I know who left it. 
You know, once you start doing more of these streams, you can just tell who leaves a comment without even reading the username first. Oh yeah, no, that's the fun part about getting to know people. Yeah. Like, I, I know, know Cartoon Retro Boy will give me a ton of stuff about, like, random cartoons, for instance. Like, these specific questions, I know it's from him. <laughs> Anything that's super unhinged, I know that's either from Rampin or Jane Plays. <laughs> I think, or it wasn't just Jay Plays, it was Jay Plays has left some comments that literally caused the stream to go into complete chaos. But there was another fan of the channel, he went by Cart Fester, and he left some of the funniest comments, but it was just TNG and I, and when we were streaming, we didn't know how to respond to it. So immediately when the stream ended, we just burst into laughter <laughs> and we're literally dying. The question he asked. Why did Little Bill get cancelled on a bad year, a bad month, and a bad day? Such an absurd question that made so little sense. We, we just didn't understand it. <laughs> These stupid rabbits. Alright. Let's see. Oh, they're stupid rabbits? They look pretty cute to me. They're like little blue rabbits. They're cute. Yeah. I want one as a pet. Well, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> they are super annoying. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, they're like the ground ones. Sure. What's your opinion on episode Google Gas? I mean, the episode's okay, but um, I love the the baby designs for all the characters. <laughs> they look super cute. And I use those pictures all the time on in like Twitter memes and stuff. It's a pretty good episode. Let's see, who's my favorite baby? Is Patrick the one that sits on Plankton? <laughs> I, I love that one. I think so. Baby Squidward was freaky. Squidward was a little episode. freaky. Squidward was not a cute baby at all. Baby Mr. Krabs, I mean, probably Baby Spongebob. That that episode makes me want to have kids, so it's not a good episode for me. You know, I'm not sure if I ever want to do, but the economy nowadays, and just all the screaming I hear in restaurants and sometimes on plane rides, I'm just thinking of what one of the YouTubers I watched said, why well, have kids when you can have cats? Listen, Rampant, if you can write an album like Taylor Swift's Torture Poets Department from your dating experiences, then you can date whoever you want. <laughs> Rodgers DX is asking, or Rampant's asking, if Rampant and Demise were, were a couple would be the most unhinged. Dude, I don't think that's going to ever happen. You'd have to rewire my brain for that. So, what would be on Hinge though? Is there even a Hinge? I mean, yeah, that sounds very unhinged to me. But like, unhinged <laughs> relationships make the best art. That would make a good Taylor Swift song. TNT said, "Yippee, di yippee, dippy, dee, dee, smells like e." What are you two? Yippee, dippy, dee, TNT smells like Zaza. Fuck you. <laughs> Ah, you, you oh my god, the wine is getting to my head. <laughs> it's, it's like... <laughs> oh, I'm getting there too. I just had some of them doing two shots. You know, what was I gonna say? Um... Listen to Taylor Swift's new album, Torture Post Department. <laughs> Do I have to pay for it? No, you can listen to it on Spotify for free. Or, like, you can, can even I to it on play YouTube? on YouTube for free. Can I listen to the Nightcore mix to go by faster? No, you have to listen to all two hours of it. <laughs> I don't think TNT is okay. Birds passing up the dark clouds. What the hell I did think I do? The getting... 
I think if the wand's getting to you, the paint thinner's gotten to him. Yeah, paint thinner will definitely get to you. That stuff is dangerous. As you can tell. I think just paint in general is. My oh, yeah, paint in general is very dangerous. And first of all, I said he was stupid for painting in the garage, but second, I walked in the garage and I just felt like nauseous afterwards because they were painting. Ooh. You know what would be cool? When I announce my plan to seize control of the planet and have Demetrius my number two as he walks on stage carrying a chainsaw. That seemed like if I'd be in my edgy phase. That seems like I ever became emo. I thought you were already emo. Yeah, but more emo. Yes. You definitely need to be more emo. Yeah, I guarantee you if you're going to PAX West, I'll just be like... I'll have that emo haircut, probably a few piercings, and the black makeup. I mean, yes. That sounds fantastic to me. <laughs> let's, 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 let's go. <laughs> emo Demich. Hey, Riders, your chat on the stream is not working. Well, it seems it seems to be working. It's probably just a little delayed. Oh, that's just great. I'm going to check it out. I just refreshed. I think, I think it froze. Yeah, he's right. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, it happens sometimes. Yeah. It is... It is a struggle. This is a one-man operation, y'all. <laughs> so... It's one man band. <laughs> We are, we are a pushing through, I guess you could say. How did I get past this the first time? I'm like so confused. <laughs> what the hell did I do? I think you're supposed to maybe use the paint. Maybe that could create a path. I mean, it's not working on this stuff. So I mean, there it's might be- It's probably the bird trying to mess with the stream. Parrot. Oh, I just I just cheese my way through it. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, you play like a Sonic game. I mean, yeah, sometimes that's what you have to do. Play the game Can in a way the developers did not intend. <laughs> I was just talking about your TND where No, is Petey actually retired? Who's we need to wait for the Petey? The shell on my channel, the oh. green parrot. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, where is he? He's in the chat. No, TNT. We were talking about how Ryder's DX doesn't like Glorm. And he said I should listen to Taylor Swift instead. I mean, yes. And I was telling him that I'll play Mob Ties on speakerphone, and he'll just be like, stop listening to the crap. And then I will just play, like, Shake It Off instead. You're going all the way back to 2014 with this one. <laughs> Glorb is crap? I don't know, Trendsetters is pretty far. Mob Ties is probably my favorite one. The bottom one and two are great. You know, I think you can at least agree with this. Anything Glorb has made is better than any of the actual SpongeBob spinoffs. No, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Ooh, that I guess it's pretty bad then. I didn't know it was that bad to you. I watched one episode of the Patrick show. I like Camp Coral, and... so that's like that's like one reason. I don't think Camp Coral is that bad. But is it that good? Hmm, I don't no, think so. It's not that good, but it's not terrible, so there we go. It accomplishes D &D, that. He's saying this is from the same guy who thinks that C D is the best Sonic game. Yeah, TNT, and you think Libby's the best, so screw you. I do like Sonic CD, and there's nothing you can do to change my mind. I mean, Sonic CD needs its fans, so there you go. You don't agree when Plankton kicks the ass with his giant robot killing machine, Karen. Karen is a giant killing machine. It's interesting how much, like, artwork they have of Disney in this game. I know it's a Mickey Mouse game, but just all the different eras. Yeah, it's it's definitely the game that like celebrates Disney's history, which is really cool. That's why like I really wish like I would love a Looney Tunes game like this, you know. <laughs> just 
because I would actually recognize yeah. like everything like in um, a Looney Tunes game. But I mean, as my mistake. I in the public domain. Yeah, it's my mistake for not growing up with Disney. I mean, I grew up with um, I grew up with like Ken Montana. That's the kind of Disney I grew up with. <laughs> I grew up wanting to go to the theme parks. It's so weird because it was just SpongeBob that I cared about. SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents, and Jimmy Neutron. And Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh, yes. I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Well, I don't know what it is. Oh, that's cool how there's a guitar. Yes. Welcome back to I think... Rice. Now with Nintendo, they do have their own Epic Mickey equivalent, which is Captain Rainbow, but I don't think that's ever going to get localized. What's the point of slowing down the time? I guess I'll just skip that. Ooh, a Crash Bandicoot game in the style of this would be pretty cool. Yeah, honestly, like they should just make like make like epic SpongeBob, um, epic Scooby Doo, <laughs> epic, <laughs> epic Looney Tunes, um, epic Cannon Montana. I mean, all of them. I'm just laughing at TNT's reaction to Rampin's favorite Sonic games. Shadow Colors Generation Unleashed Shadow the Hedgehog Forces. I mean, that stuff definitely has a certain taste to it. Trying to think, what are my top five Sonic games actually? Hmm. That's a good question. Um, that is a really good question. Well, we, we definitely need to put Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Heroes on it. Those games are basically tied for my first. Um, good choices. What else is there? Oof, this is tough. I don't know. Um, Sonic, I guess Sonic Generations, although like it's weird because it's a game that like I heavily appreciate but it's not a game that I'm like excited about, you know? It's like I can think, I can acknowledge that it's basically like one of the most solid 3D Sonic games out there, but it just doesn't excite me, you know? It's like, it doesn't have that pizzazz <laughs> that like Heroes has for instance. I, I kind of like when Sonic games are like more experimental even if they're not Always yeah. the most fleshed out. Yeah, it's like, it's just not an interesting game to me. But it's like, it's so much fun anyway, you know? So it's like, maybe it doesn't have to be? I don't know. Um, I think I, I think I put Sonic Adventure 1 in there as well. I'm trying to think. Um, I think Sonic Frontiers. I would put Sonic Frontiers up there. That's a pretty solid list. I can see you really enjoy 3D Sonic. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Should I put, like, what's... Is there a 2D Sonic game I can put up there? I'm trying to think. Um, Mania? No. Um, maybe Sonic Rush. <laughs> I know that's an odd choice, but I love Sonic Rush. It seems like... It seems like anything that was after the 6th generation, or before the 6th generation, <laughs> doesn't matter. Antiquated. Blonde to the museum. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there's... says that about NES games. He's saying that NES games belong in a museum. They do. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be I'm so just pissed about it. when when I'm like when I'm like in my 40s and people are like, "Man, Adventure 2 deserves being a museum." I'm like, "Shut up." <laughs> so. No, I think it's funny because there's a YouTuber, Pat the NES Punk, and someone ranked the GameCube as the best Nintendo console, and he got so pissed off in it. 
It was so funny. The GameCube is the best Nintendo console. Oh, that's a good... Or, it's so hard for me to decide between the GameCube and Actually, Cube, no. Wii I think my favorite Nintendo console is actually... The, <laughs> it's the Wii U. <laughs> because of the Wii U games or the backwards compatibility? The backwards compatibility. So you're taking into account all the Wii games. How about not games. accounting for backwards compatibility? Because I'd say my top three are the GameCube, the Wii, and the Switch. Alright. I'd say in terms of my top five fa or favorite Sonic games, the Sonic CD, I think Sonic Heroes is up there now, so that's good. I'm trying to think, because I've... Um, Most Sonic games are played are the like the Genesis ones and Mega or Game Gear. I was thinking Master System. Oh, I want to play Dream Team, but like I am not getting an Apple product just for Dream Team. Like, good. That. I don't <laughs> like Crackle either. So I, I I know I would enjoy it if I got to play it. So, if I ever got an iPhone, I would get so mad with it that I would just throw it on the ground and then throw it into the fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I know There's I would enjoy it if I got to play it. It looks so much fun. That's too bad. I'll just keep waiting I for... I think it'll get ported. I'll just wait for the Steam release. One day. Like, Sign Lost Road got ported to Steam eventually, so, like... I'm sure Dream Team will make that way eventually. Um, Generations is great, but I'm still burnt out on it, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, it's like I, mean, understand fatigue. I think Generations is like it's a very solid game and like I really can't critique it that much, but it's just so like it's so boring to me, you know? Is that that's just it's not exciting to me. That that's that's my main issue with it. It just doesn't excite me. Like I have more like excitement playing like Unleashed even though like I think it's a worse game <laughs> than, than Generations. Like it's just a whole like atmosphere of At Unleash, like it's just a lot more exciting than um, Generations. Sometimes you just want a little pizzazz, you know? I would say that Sonic Unleash gets bonus points just because of Apatos. Yes. If it didn't have the Werehog, it would literally be one of my top Sonic games. I wonder if there's a mod that gets rid of it. I don't think there is. Isn't there a character in Lost World? Or there, his name's Daza? Uh, I think so. The red uh, guy. Do not play Lost World, by the way. That's a terrible game. I mean, it has the Zelda and Yoshi stuff. Oh, it's Davok. Basically, it's like if Sonic tried making a Mario game, that's what you would get. Oh, so something that's subpar in every way? <laughs> it's like you try to merge Mario's mechanics with Sonic. That's exactly what happened. There is actually some fan theories that like that game was actually like going to be a Mario and Sonic crossover, which kind of makes sense. I think they just need to make a real one at this point. They do. Oh. Uh, oh, they're sleeping. They are. The big sleepy boy. These are all just Big the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not us because we don't sleep. No. The sleep is for the weak. It is for the very weak. Oh, yeah, I'm I... always telling TD that. Sleep is for the week, and it's more fun to stay up late anyway. Yeah, only the, the best things happen at night. For instance, I found out that Taylor Swift's 16-track album was actually a 31-track album at 2 a.m. So. Oh! Oh, damn, you got a pretty good donation! What? It's a long, a long time since I got a donation, actually. What? I have a Mandela effect with signed Generations. I remember classic Knuckles appearing in the trailers, but not only is he missing in every trailer, but not even the concept art suggests he was planned. Like, listen, man, Jake, um, I see Taylor Swift in every signed trailer, so I know exactly what you mean. Um, but thank you so much for your donation. 
Um, it looks like you donated 1399 Canadian dollars. So bonus points for Can Canada. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can actually get yourself a few bags of ketchup lays, which I highly recommend. Is that like a popular Canada <laughs> thing? <laughs> it actually is. Cause like I have, no, I actually, don't see, I've never seen ketchup lays in like my grocery store, like ever. Yeah, they're only in Canada, and they're <laughs> delicious. It's unbelievable how good they are. Wow. Well, when I go up to Canada in the summer, I will, uh, I'm gonna have to check them out. But thank you again, Jake. I really appreciate it. Yes. Do not, do not play Lost World. It is such a waste of time. <laughs> I like have legit beef. Actually, you know what? What's really um, a little upsetting for me is like Lost World is actually the game that like made me take a break from Sonic. <laughs> it's that bad. So it's essentially your equivalent to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> it's just like I played that game. And I was like, I don't really feel like Sonic is for me anymore. That's exactly what I thought. And then like, well, actually, it wasn't just Lost World. Like I played Lost World. I was like, oh. This is just not fun at all. And then I saw Sonic Boom Rise Lyric come out. I was like, I'm not playing that. <laughs> so. <it's... laughs> yeah, that was Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were so bad that I never wanted to play another Pokemon game again. Yeah. But um, I saw Sonic Forces. I was like, oh, I'll give this a shot. And then what, I was like, well, they still, they're still screwing it up. So. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep an eye on them for now. Oh, this part of of the game was really annoying to me the first time I played it. So this is just just this is just great. Let's check it out. Forces is aggressively boring. Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric are worse than Lost World. You see, and like, forces. I can find almost, I can find something like in almost any Sonic game. Like, that's why, like, I can, you can actually see me, like, kind of, like, defend Sonic 06 a lot. But there is nothing I like about about Sonic Boom. And the reason for that is that it's not a Sonic game. <laughs> it's not a Sonic game. It just feels like a licensed game. Yeah. In all the wrong ways. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, like, you could have replaced the characters like any other franchise. And... Glibly. You wouldn't have noticed a difference. Like, it honestly could have been a Spongebob game, honestly. It wouldn't have been a very good one, <laughs> but it would have been. It could have been a Spongebob game. I'm still waiting for that Glimbly game to actually happen. And his trusty sidekick, Mr. Millipede. Well, maybe one day, I guess. Oh. Ew, ew, ew. oh my god. I hate this part. I should at least get through this before the end of the stream. If I can like get through this level before ending the stream, then I'll be happy. So let's see. I always have a threshold like that for streams. Like I gotta beat a level before finishing up a stream. Yeah. It'd be great if I played Mario the Lost Levels where I probably spent a few I used to play that when I was a kid, and oh. I'm surprised I didn't break my TV. <laughs> I used to rage a lot when I was a kid. Me too. You, oh my god, I raged so much um, at Mario Strikers Charge for the Wii. Ooh, imagine Mario Strikers Battle League if you played the Galactic Mode. I rage so hard once I snap my DS in half. Oh, well, um, you should have filmed that. <laughs> I was 10, so I didn't even think of YouTube. But fortunately, Nintendo fixed it for free. And yeah. ever since then, I've treated my game or consoles like I would treat them like my family. Oh, that's or, right. Well, they are family. Treat them like a son. Take extra good care of the game consoles. And that's why most of them, outside of my first 3DS, are in pristine condition. I don't know what happened with my first 3DS. The circle pad fell off, 3D got stuck, the L and R buttons don't work. Maybe it was just kind of defective, I don't know, but I played the hell out of it. 
it helped me get through middle school, so, hey, it did something right. Maybe Sticker Star does have some positives. Yeah, I think Sticker Star isn't terrible. I know that's a controversial take. It's gonna make for a great video. <laughs> but yeah, I know, there's like, there's some things about Sticker Star I actually like. I mean, I think the sticker book thing's fun. I like the concept. It's fun experimenting with the stickers. It has charm to it. Like, I think the action adventure part. I think the action adventure aspect of Sticker Star is still very solid. I feel like Origami King did everything way better. Yeah. Yeah, Boom was very insulting to the Sonic franchise. Like, that's a game I can't defend because, again, it's not a Sonic game. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not. Why did they just have Sonic wrapped up in sports tape? Like, why? I don't know, but like, I didn't really mind that, to be honest. <laughs> like, who cares? Who thought that was a good design choice? Like, I understand. Okay, let's make Knuckles buff. That makes sense, because we want to have these ultra huge characters in games. I actually like, hated that more than the, than the tape. <laughs> I mean, making Knuckles ripped, I mean, that's changing his fundamental design, but I think the tape's even worse. That's it's weird. It's so stupid. And, and the tape is like a non-factor to me, personally. I'm like, who, who cares? It's just tape. Like, making Knuckles literally, like, a dumb doofus bro character, like, that that kind of crossed the line for me. But then I watched the show, and I was like, okay, this is actually kind of funny, so nah, I don't mind it as much. I will say, at least Tails looks good. He's got the mechanic outfit going on. Yeah. Not too bad. And then they turn Amy into like a TikTok, like a TikTok um, Gen Z person. A Zoomer? Yeah. She's like... Whoa, what the hell? Jake, that's so much money. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, I feel guilty. Thank you. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, let me give you... Let me read your comment. Um, there are some good licensed games, in my opinion. These include Simpsons Hit and Run, SpongeBob Alpha Key and Bottom, Super Star Wars, Shrek 2, Ghostbusters 2009, Rango, Grim Adventures game, and Over the Hedge. Um, I'll disagree with you on Over the Hedge. I, I hate that game. But <laughs> everything everything else is very good. I love Hit and Run. I love Alpha Key and Bottom. Shrek 2, that is an underrated masterpiece. People need to get into Shrek 2. Um, but, oh my god, thank, thank you I'm so the much. I'm on GameCube. <laughs> Jake, would you recommend getting into the one on GameCube? Yeah, yeah, the GameCube one is pretty good. Um, no, no real difference between the console versions, in my opinion. Um, GameCube one's always gonna usually be the best. Yeah, GameCube is pretty solid for the most part. I mean, the GameCube was the second most powerful system at the time. Really, it was more powerful than the PS2. Than original Xbox. Yeah, it's more powerful than the PS2. Oh, but right. it didn't have that DVD player, which is why it only sold 21 million. All right. Well, yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, I just feel like with the Dreamcast <laughs> and GameCube, you should have slapped the DVD player on it. <laughs> I, I I honestly cannot even think about anything else. Like Jake, what a massive donation! Thank you so much. I am like. I'm like really shook. It's like it's like shaking me out of like the um, the mind maze that the wine is putting me in. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, what what is he doing here? Oh, well, th I don't know what you're doing, but thank you. Okay, cool. Um, what is this area up here, though? I, I'm, I'm curious. I don't think I got to this place last time. Could hate lights camera pants. That is a flawless party game. Okay, not flawless, but it's it's really good. I I, I swear.
you need the key code for the keys. But what is the key code? <laughs> what is the key code? <laughs> Let me know. I'll, I'll enter it in. <laughs> Meantime, let me explore what this is. Oh, what is going on? I've never camera? played. Oh, this is for three DS user. You ever played Creature from the Krusty Krab? Yes. I heard that was a good game. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I like it enough. I mean, I like it more than Planes of Robotic Revenge, that's for sure. Oh, don't go to sleep yet, TND. There's so much liberty, liberty, liberty. Oh, that's what that reference is. <laughs> so you think. What a dumb reference, I'm sorry. Who cares about liberty? <laughs> <laughs> At least the Jardians lady is, like, entertaining because it's got it's a song. It has choreo. <laughs> No, the Jardiance lady is just perfect in every way. Just my type. Too bad she's married. I don't feel like if she ever gets into divorce, though. Or I say, hey, the a bone chica, it's me. <laughs> you want to okay. go out for Alfredo meatballs and red wine? I feel like I have a good chance. Well, you would win anyone over with red wine. Red wine and Alfredo meatballs. Okay. This camera is literally like scaring me right now. It just like changes rapidly <laughs> as I enter each section here. Now you know how I feel about Sonic Heroes. Well, you know, Sonic Heroes, you just have to uh, get used to it. <laughs> if you ignore the game, then it's amazing. I mean, yeah. Okay. So la when I played this the game the first time, I like got to this area, but I like died around here. So I was like, I'm not doing all that shit again. <laughs> so I just went, I just like skipped it. <laughs> but now I'm actually getting to the end of this, so I'm curious to see what's going on here. And why is the camera doing this? I gotta say the game looks beautiful. It does. So, at least you have some eye candy to look at while you're playing through it, even if you need to cheese the game. Yeah, but like, does it want me to go back where I came from now? Like, what is it doing here? You grew up playing this game for a long time? That's pretty cool. Oh, wait, what's this? What's this area? Ah, here's the treasure I was looking for. All right, well, what is in here? It's just a pin, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a pin, okay. Oh, I just... I did not intend to die, but that does make things easier in terms of getting back to where I was. I know that Psycho Waluigi was made in Game Maker. I'm not sure how well it would run on a 3DS. Just happened. Why am I all the way back here? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> you have to go all the way back. No, like it, like I, I, like got hurt and I got put back in this area where I just where I kept dying before. So. <laughs> What does Mario 3D World and Creature from the Crusty Crab have in common? I mean, they're both platforms. Sure. I mean, they're both platforms. <laughs> That's pretty much I it. I mean, it's kind of it. 
That's pretty much it. They couldn't be they couldn't be more different, honestly. Creature from the Krusty Krab is a hot mess. You know how like every like franchise has that game that like it's just a little weird and quirky? Like that's the game for SpongeBob. Yeah. Like for I wonder instance, what it would be for Mario. Yeah, what Mario Sunshine. game would that be for? I guess like I don't know. I I would say Super Paper Mario is pretty close to that. Yeah, but that's not like a mainline game. I mean, does it have to be a mainline game? I guess. I don't think so. But like Creature from the Crested Crab has things like uh, Patrick becoming a superhero and. Defeating an enemy, defeating like a bad guy looks just like him. Or, um, Spongebob traveling inside an Alaskan bullworm. Or, Plankton. You know, because of that last one, I actually need to play it now. Yeah. Or, like, Plankton being chased by a gigantic Krabby Patty. This isn't a dream, this is a nightmare. It's just a super <laughs> strip. Oh my god, Jake, what are you doing? Oh, let me let me defeat this enemy, and oh, this is too much, Jake. Oh my gosh. All right, what are you? Okay, let's see. Feeling generous today? Yes, you are. You are super generous, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, I might not have nostalgia bias for the Over the Hedge game since it was one of the first action adventure games I played. Thoughts on the movie, by the way. Also, ever played a Rayman game? Me too, though. I'm thinking about replaying Epic Mickey soon. Never finished back in a day. Um, like, I, I will say that, like, I enjoyed Over the Hedge, I think, when I was a kid. You know, I think I played a lot with my brother in particular. So it's one of those, um, co-op, like, beat em up games, if you don't know. And so, basically, you, like, the two-player, um, game, you can play with, like, someone, and then, um, you basically just, um, what is it? Uh, I lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. Um, it's one of those like co-op like um, beat 'em up games. You just um, go through a level and like you play with a friend and you just like beat up all the enemies and stuff. But it's like it's like, it's, it's kind of like Nicktoons Unite basically, or like the Lego Star Wars games, I guess. Ooh. Dang. Also, like, okay. Um, thoughts on the movie, by the way. Um, I, I don't. I haven't watched a movie in a very long time, to be honest. But from what I remember of the movie, um, I think it was an okay movie. Um, what did I remember from the movie? I know Avril Lavigne is in it. <laughs> I know Avril Lavigne is in it. <laughs> that's that's a very important factor to me. Uh, she's she's one of the possums, and I just thought that was just such a fun fact about that game um and the movie but uh yeah i'd have to rewatch a movie it's been a long time since i've seen it and uh, a you rayman know, game a... i've never played a rayman game actually i have played rayman raven rabbits <laughs> which i think would make a lot of rayman fans very angry <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm a rayman fan but i can't get too angry because my first game was Rabbit's TV party in the Rayman series. I think you can like Rabbit's and Rayman simultaneously. Yeah, the problem is that is Ubisoft. Ubisoft is the problem. What, they, because they don't do anything with the Rabbit's or Rayman anymore besides like the Mario crossover? Yeah, it's like they only think they only think that one of them can live. And it's like, no, I why know, can't we have both? Well, if I recommend a Rayman game to you, I would say go for Rayman Origins or Legends. Also, Rayman 3D on the 3DS is really good, but it's Rayman 2. Yeah. So, I'd say go for any of those games. Rayman Legends is actually on the Switch, so I'd recommend that one. Ah, okay, gotcha. I mean, yeah, I'll play a Rayman game eventually. Rayman looks like Yoshi. I guess... I guess that's a true statement. 
Not really. Maybe the gameplay style and art style, I could see that a little yeah. bit. <laughs> They're actually Mario and Luigi costumes in Rayman Legends. Hmm. But anyway, I think we're gonna finish this last projectile level, and then um, I am trying to get on the decent sleep schedule, so we're gonna we're gonna end the stream after that. That's why we played a little bit earlier today than usual. Yeah, I got work tomorrow at like eight thirty, so I'm like, let me try to get eight hours of sleep because I definitely did not get that this weekend. This, You're this trying week... to take lessons from T and D where he sleeps normally. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm here like, oh boy, three a.m. Yeah, no, I I'm not up to three a.m. That's a you problem. <laughs> That's gonna be a gamer problem. That's what happens when your blood starts running on Mountain Dew and Celsius and Bang and coffee. Oh, coffee. Is this what Charlie Sheen wants to feel like? I don't know, but all I took all I took away from what you just said is coffee. I love coffee. Need more coffee. Need more coffee. Need more Margaret. What a simp. That show is so hilarious. It's one of my favorite shows ever. Mine too. It's, it's like, <laughs> I don't know what the, the creator was like smoking while making that show, but he needs to do more oh, of it. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious it's that. It can't be anything else. <laughs> you know, the, actually, the first regular show short, it wasn't like an official episode. Yeah. But J.G. Quintel did like a little animation for his college. And it was about these two gas station clerks eating chocolate that was laced with psychedelics. And then they <laughs> turned into Mordecai and Benson. That is hilarious. Love it. The most shocking thing about it is that I actually looked up an AMA that JG Quintel did on Reddit. Yeah. He's never tried psychedelics before. So he just said he thought of that. He imagined that would, was what it would be like. <laughs> so I'm guessing because he promoted the gummies for his other show close enough, it has to be pot. That's what he was ah, smoking. I see. Okay. I'm using the law of deduction here. <laughs> mm, Alright, well, um, we got through the projector level, and um, the yawning is definitely coming on. I think the wine is going to help me sleep, actually, so I think that was a good choice. You're going to sleep like a college grad. Yeah, and so I, I think, like, that actually was a good choice in hindsight, so I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> you know, maybe for the next stream. Red wine? It's been a while since I've had wine. I, I am. Just I'm definitely a wine person. I love the taste of wine the most out of anything. Although champagne's pretty good. I, I do really enjoy champagne. Um, well, considering my name, I don't think it takes a genius to figure out what my favorite is. Uh. Demich? Beer? Dimitri. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you know, in middle school, Yo, people used to make fun of me for being childish watching a regular show. Instead of stuff like the Big Fang Theory. <laughs> the oh. <laughs> that is... That is hilarious. <laughs> They're both the I mean, same genre, made, in my opinion. I mean, people made fun of me for watching... Or having a Spongebob backpack, but I didn't care. Like, come on. Yeah, but... You're gonna insult someone watching a regular show, but then say do you watch a Big Bang Theory? Like, come on. <laughs> that I is hilarious. Real mature programming. Like, if they said they listened to NPR... Okay, I get it. You're an old man, but Pig Pang Theory? That's Come like, on. that's the most like mainstream, like I don't want to say childish, but like definitely like goofy like sitcom you could say in response to a regular show. Like at least regular show has like innuendos and stuff. <laughs> he's gonna drop his balls when he sees this. He's gonna be like. <laughs> Oh, look, my gumballs. I think my favorite one, though, was when Muscle Man said, You gotta have a party with yes, with breasts, and my girl can <laughs> I can't do Muscle Man. Yeah, he, he literally <laughs> sounds like 
if you try to do his voice, you would just lose your voice. You just ruin it, destroy it. Another good quote is when it was Skip's birthday, he said, Skip would be so surprised when he sees all of us totally naked in a bed. Skip's our bed or muscle man, it's not that kind of party. No. Oh. Great show. Or should I say, good show. Good show. Good show. Good show. Good show. Good show. Let's see. Uh, okay, Deacon. I'm glad you know that my name comes from Sonic Riders. Um, Rampant, I don't know this song. What is get? What is Ken Gangsters Cry? I've never heard this song before. It's Glorm. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I probably won't <laughs> listen to that. Uh, but all right, y'all. Well, thank you so much. Uh, it was another fun stream. Thank you, Jake. I am super like. The wine is not letting me process this right now, so I'm just gonna like, <laughs> I just like, thank you. Like, I don't know what to say. This is that's absolutely insane. Like, thank you so much. I don't, I can't say thank you enough. And um, yeah, I, I will tune in next time. Um, yeah, we're gonna try to keep streams to be like a weekly thing. Oh, I, I did want to mention. Um, in a couple of weeks, um, there's gonna be like a Sonic charity stream thingy going on. Um, and basically we're gonna. They're raising money for like um, this cause that like helps like disabled gamers, which is like really cool, like a very nice niche cause. So they're inviting like um, anyone to stream a sign game to raise money for it. So I'm gonna do that. I think that's in a couple weeks. So um, I'll probably put up a poll around that time, asking what sign game y'all want me to do. Um, I think Shadow the Hedgehog will be one of the options. So we'll see if that wins or not. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I hope it does. <laughs> I think I'll put like, yeah, I'll put like Shadow the Hedgehog or, oh, I don't have a 360 right now, so I can't do 06. Um, yeah, I'll decide what games we're going to choose from. And yeah, so look forward to that in a couple weeks. It's not going to be next week. I think it's the week afterwards. But yeah, it's been a while since I've done like a charity thing, so I want to do that. That sounds like a lot of fun. But all right, y'all. This is it. Um, Thank you, Dimitri, for gracing us with your presence. <laughs> hey, I'm in your basement, so anytime. Yeah, you know, next time I'll be in your basement, so we'll just keep returning a favor. Hey! All right, adios. All right, good night, guys. <laughs>